So when I started at Google, we were basically all wedged in an area about twice as big as this room, uh, above what's now a T-Mobile store in downtown Palo Alto, California. Um, it, it's been interesting, obviously, what it, Google of 25 people is not the same as Google of today. I think every doubling in company size uh, kind of feels, makes things feel a bit different, right? And at the small scale, you go from knowing everyone of the company to now you still know everyone in the engineering group, but maybe not everyone in the other groups. Uh, you, then another doubling and you kind of don't quite know everyone in the engineering group. You recognize their face, but can't quite put a name to them because they started recently. Uh, and then you go from that to at least you feel like you know everything that's being worked on in terms of technical projects. And then you go from that to uh, you get an email that says Project Platypus is launching tomorrow, and you're like, what's Project Platypus? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there's kind of the physical aspect of that. Like, we used to all fit in one small space, then we were in a bigger building in the second floor, and then we expanded to the first floor, then we expanded to multiple buildings, and then we, uh, a bit later, opened engineering offices outside of Mountain View, so all of a sudden, Engineering work was now in multiple cities, uh, in uh, and we went from one to five over a you know few year period in uh, uh, in Zurich and New York City and Tokyo and Seattle. I, I like to say we were picking the highest real estate priced uh, <laughs> cities in the world, um, and, and then we went from that to all of a sudden deciding that it would be interesting to have engineering offices all over the world where we could find you know good uh, good small teams that wanted to work for google and so we went from like five to about 35 engineering offices in a space of like two years uh, and that was you know challenging from an engineering organization standpoint how do you figure out how to actually make uh, an engineering team in that many different places effective. Um, and it took us a little while to kind of figure that out. And then we finally, um, I mean, it's, it's sort of the obvious solution, but it took us a little while to figure out that, you know, for different products, it made sense to have them concentrate the work that they do in a handful of offices. So you have like Google Maps might be in these three offices and, and Search might be in these five offices. Uh, maybe overlapping somewhat with maps, but uh, and that tended to make the engineering process just work better. So you know, I think the reason I really still enjoy being at Google is I really like working on interesting problems, and I, I have fantastic colleagues, and I like having an impact on the world. Like the work that we do actually can be used by many, many people, and actually for their benefit. And uh, you know, that's that's good. As a computer scientist, software is a bit unusual in a lot of careers in that, you know, a relatively small number of people can all of a sudden affect many people by producing something that is used by a lot of people.